my heart will start to race really fast. My palms will get sweaty. Sometimes it feels like there will be ants like crawling under my skin. Like it's just really, really uncomfortable. Tessa Zimmerman spent her childhood suffering from stress and anxiety. So every time I would walk into school, it would feel like there was gonna be a fire. Like I was on high alert. Like school was so anxiety provoking because I was so afraid of what the next test was, what my friends were gonna say to me. For Tessa, something as small as a test could put her over the edge. Believe it or not, experiencing stress is common for teens. How many teenagers are affected by stress and anxiety? Well, anxiety is the most common of our mental health conditions. It affects about 25% of all teenagers and 30% of teenage girls specifically. So girls are a little bit more primed to experience anxiety than their male counterparts. Studies have shown that this generation is more stressed out than previous generations, and even more stressed than today's adults. A lot of the research these days shows that teenagers are very stressed out by school, an increasing workload, as well as by their parents, as well as social relationships and their own peer problems. Young people today are expected to get good grades, a standardized test, have three or four extracurriculars, join a school club, have a part-time job, do some volunteer work, and run for president. Okay, well, maybe the last one was an exaggeration, but you get it, you guys have way too much on your plate. When anxiety strikes, the part of the brain called the amygdala, which controls emotions, fires off a response to the hippocampus, which is responsible for memory. Your brain makes you feel like you're in a life-threatening situation when there's really no danger happening. Anxiety now for many young people is we have that same chemical response to a misread text message or getting the answer on the test wrong. So we're having this very evolutionary response to something that isn't as significant, yet it feels like that. Even scoping out Instagram can stress you out. What technology does is it can make escaping that social world and those social pressures very challenging. You carry your smartphone with you all day, and so a problem that happens at school can and will likely follow teens into home. So it can be hard to kind of create a separation or a boundary from those things, which I think can be daunting sometimes when you can't get away from it. And anxiety affects your overall health and can even lead to depression, which is also on the rise in teens. In a recent study, 30% of teens said stress makes them feel sad, depressed, or tired. Some even said they've skipped meals because they're so stressed out. But there's something you can do. The first step is to find out what situations cause you stress and figure out a way to calm yourself down in the moment. Establishing a routine to unwind and de-stress and relax is important. Practicing mindfulness meditation, whatever that may look like for you. I would say have some sort of physical activity or exercise whereby you're working through that physical tension. Today, Tessa has a good handle on her life. She wrote a book about overcoming anxiety and created a nonprofit called Asset to help other students. We train and equip teachers in anxiety mitigation tools, and then we give them lesson plans to teach those tools in everyday academic classes. You still have an anxiety, but right. now you've got the tools. Exactly because you can do anything with the tools. Everyone's gonna have our thing, but if you know how to deal with your thing, like, it's limitless, right? <laughs> it really is. Inhale. Arielle Hickson, Channel One News.